Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this very special retro edition, we're going to be looking at old urethane with the Brunswick Grizz. guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at, well, as retro as retro can get, the Brunswick Grizz. Now, for a lot of you who've never heard of this ball, it's okay. The one that we had, we tracked the serial number back all the way to January of 1981. So this ball's one or two years old. <laughs> um, but we've had a lot of requests for people talking about old urethane. And you always see people online trying to buy old urethane. So we figured we'd kind of show you exactly what old urethane does. And this was a little bit surprising, wasn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so before we get into it real too far, why don't we get Scoops to tell us about the ball? Because there's a lot of technical information here. You ready? Go! It's got old school urethane. Okay. Pancake weight block. It's about as old school as we can get. Yeah, it's literally pancake weight block cover. Now, to get a little bit more performance out of it, we did use the PBA plastic ball layout. You can find that online. It just it, it increases the differential, the intermediate differential, to get a little bit more performance out of the ball. But that's what we want to see when we're looking at something this old school. Yeah. So, um, what did you think about when you threw it, Nick? <laughs> this ball is very early. I can't <laughs> say how it... Yeah, hand roll. Yeah, people yeah. F people forget that with old school urethane, the old reaction for it was basically it rolled in the first 15 to 20 feet and then just kind of lined up and set and rolled to the pocket. And did it do that? Yeah. <laughs> but with that said, it had tons of hitting power when it got to the pocket. Yep. <laughs> and man, like it hit so hard both Cam and Dad had strikes. I swear to God, it sounded like they broke eight pins. Yeah. And I mean, you got a high rev player and a low rev player making it do the same noise. It was kind of mind-blowing. Yeah, now a ball like this obviously is best used, um, what people think is for when it's light oil. No! No. It's actually best used for high volume short patterns. Yeah. Uh, if you threw this on dry, it might turn around and hit you, or, or claw your eyes out because it's a grizzly bear. Grr, I'll take out a seven pin. That that's true. <laughs> I think we have some video coming out later of that. Um, now you have to break it down to old school urethane versus the things we see now. Um, old school urethane has its place. Yes but you don't get the same kind of performance out of that old urethane as you see in the new urethane that's out there. So unless you have a specific purpose for this ball, I think we pretty much recommend to look at the new school urethane. But it's still a heck of a lot of fun to throw it. Oh yeah. So why don't we take it to the lanes and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling like Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Uh, and that looked like a 1980s shot. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's the high I mean, hard one. Yeah, high hard one, yeah. <laughs> Those guys that used to just throw it straight and hard down the middle because that's what you had to do. Yeah, now, I mean, we said this ball needs oil. Yes. Um when we first got out, every single person who threw this ball, the very f first shot they threw, pretty much cleaned a seven. Pin. Oh yeah, like <laughs> it was hooking. You, at you missed the arrows. everything. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Dad got the four seven, and Cameron picked the the seven clean. I yep. think. And by that time, I wasn't dumb enough to try that. So mine managed to hit the three pin or the two pin, I think. Yeah. So, um, or it went and hit the ten pin. I can't remember. So yeah. Now Wayne is playing because yeah. he is old enough to have played with the wooden equipment. Yes. Uh, he's playing that standard high hard. Yeah. You know, 
crush the the head pin high, watch the ball deflect through. Exactly, yeah. And that was the classic urethane shot. Yeah, exactly. You needed to to get it to hook and then play straight in. You can see it hook, and that's it. Like, yeah. It's done its movement, and it's straight into the pocket. Now, uh, <laughs> you can see him. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's a, a lot different than what we throw oh, yeah. now, especially if you look at something like the Brunswick BTU, yes. which gets down lane and then hooks. Yeah. This ball does not do that. No. <laughs> and uh, we also talked to off camera about, you got to remember too, wood lanes, very yep. low volume. So the ball tend to roll at your feet, but it rolled out, and then that was all you were expecting. With the that, urethane that lanes. That was the shot, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The synthetic lanes, the ball is skidding a little and then grabbing, and it's like, you know, you're doing a burnout with your tires. It's, you know. Now here you, you saw the first couple of shots were outside. Yeah. And then you moved in, and you can see that ball is going out, and yeah. it's hitting the arrows, and then rolling straight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's – I couldn't consistently throw it outside because it was it, – There you go. Yeah. You, and you can see that one. Yeah. Uh, you can see the separator of where the uh, masking unit reflects, and you can actually see yeah. it make its move, yeah. and that was it. Yeah, exactly. And that that's the traditional urethane yeah. shot. We keep saying it. It yeah. makes its move and then rolls straight. Yeah. But and that's what I mean. I got a loft – when I got aloft, <laughs> I mean, that's but the thing is, I don't have the speed of somebody <laughs> like Cameron or yep. Rob. Now, Cam moved outside and through it, and you can see oh, wow. it hits pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that, like I said in the intro, the, it hit hard. I couldn't quite get it to hit as hard as these guys, <laughs> but, man, wow. But you'll see very quickly, Cam is starting to... To push. Yeah. One of the things that people forget about old school urethane is how it drags oil down the lane. <laughs> So Cam actually, while you guys were pushing left, yeah, Cam was pushing right because yeah. he was sitting on his own track and pulling so much oil down lane. And you get carried like that. Nice carry. <laughs> <laughs> That's old school carry. Yeah. Um, there was a few five sevens. Too, yeah, I'm not gonna deny it. And you, you know, those are those yeah. are your old school hits. Yeah. Wow. But that's something that people aren't used to unless you bowl on heavy sport patterns or bowl with your thing yeah. is that actual move right yeah. instead of move and left. left. Yeah. And you can see he's I mean he's pretty much Oh my god. <laughs> that was the Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Look at him. oh my god. <laughs> uh now here I am throwing it and you'll notice I started outside cuz I want to show the versatility. I mean it's urethane. Yeah. Outside I threw it directly in the dry, yeah. so it just rolls out. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I was implying with the wood lanes yep. and low volume. And now, <laughs> I'm a little bit farther inside. Yeah. Lofting and pumping. and Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't hooking. No. And that wasn't the point of urethane when it first no. came out. It, it read better than rubber yeah. and hit harder than rubber. Oh, yeah. Um, but it wasn't I, I've there to hook. I've thrown rubber quite a bit. When yep. I get a chance to, and uh, eventually we'll get one of those um, Black Beauties stashed away in the Brunswick warehouse. Yeah, and we'll and do a review on oh, that. Oh yes, <laughs> please. But you know what? We yeah. we we said it. As much as we like old urethane, yeah, the new stuff gives you better results. A BTU yeah. is going to allow you to play right and yeah. actually hook it a little bit, rather than I mean, look, you could see that one slow down. Yeah, and just kind of roll. And I mean, but that's what urethane's for. Yeah. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside.